Hi, I'm Marlo from Wild Food UK, out foraging again. It's the 19th of October today and I'm in Herefordshire in some coniferous woodlands at the moment. We've been finding some lovely winter chanterelles and some puffballs and all kinds of other different lovely mushrooms. But down here is one that I haven't done a video on before. And it's a beautiful mushroom and quite easy to identify. So one for you guys to know about because it is an edible mushroom too. Look at that lovely green colouring on the cap. And you'll see that the, uh, the, the caps tend to lighten on the more mature ones normally uh, around the edge of the cap. So you've got this beautiful, almost turquoise green colouring, which makes it quite a distinctive mushroom to start off with. Now it's in the Clytosibe family and as with, or genus, and as with the Clytosives, we've got slightly decurrent gills, meaning the gills run down the stem. Let's have a look at the stem on this one. You can see the stem is never particularly stout. Look at that lovely green iridescence almost on the gills there, which are paler than the cap. As you can see, the cap can become quite uh, funky shaped, not necessarily perfectly round. Now, that, as I said, uh, makes this quite a distinctive mushroom um, just because of the, the green colouring, really, and where it's growing. Um, but this has one other key identifier, which is much, much more simple than just that, which is that it absolutely stinks of aniseed. Lovely, sweet, sweet aniseed. If you think a horse mushroom smells of aniseed, wait until you've smelt a Clytosibe odora, as in odor. So the, uh, the clue's in the name, this is a, a smelly mushroom. Uh, its common name, I think, is the aniseed toadstool. Um, there is one other mushroom that looks quite similar to this and smells uh, very aniseed-like as well. That's the Clytosibe fragrans, or the fragrant funnel. Um, that's one you don't want to eat, but it tends to grow more in sort of grassland uh, and around field edges uh, than it does in uh, coniferous woodland. So that's how you can tell the difference between the two. Now, it has a lovely aniseed smell and it has a lovely aniseed flavour to go with it. So it's quite an unusual mushroom to cook with. It goes particularly well with things like fish or other dishes where you would use aniseed because unlike the horse mushroom, which smells of aniseed, but when you cook it, tastes like a lovely mushroom. This one, even when you cook it, it still tastes like aniseed or a slightly aniseedy mushroom. So uh, use it in dishes instead of uh, things like fennel and um, you'll find it's a, it's a similar flavour. Anyway, beautiful green mushrooms here. Gonna collect a few. You never know, maybe I'll treat my wife to a fish dish tonight. The uh, aniseed toadstool, Clytosibe adora. If you want to find out more, go to wildfooduk.com. 